What's going on guys? Haley here, also known as Haley Tornado. I am about to go thrifting by myself. Josh is playing golf with some friends. It is a beautiful day in South Carolina, not a cloud in the sky. So let's go see what I can find today. We had about 25 orders go out this weekend. Um, thankfully, Josh and I packed those yesterday. So I didn't have to do it all this morning while Josh was playing golf. First stop today is the Goodwill Outlet, AKA the Bins, where you pay by the weight. I'm a little late. It's like 10.09, they open at 10, but let's see if I can find anything. Yeah, I am. Oh. <laughs> How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Your total is 756. Okay. So you got Thank you. Okay? you, too. So it seems like they really didn't put any, any new bins out today. Everything was super picked over. Um, but I did find a couple of plushes. You guys have been seeing me pick up a couple plushes lately. <laughs> it's just like my timing. I don't know this. I just keep finding plushes. I'm gonna put this stuff in the car and then head to the other side. Let's look at Toshiba VHS and DVD recorder with the remote. So it looks like the remote alone sells, sells for about 20 free shipping. Let's see, sold 90 plus shipping, 140 plus shipping. I must get this for myself. <laughs> I'm at another Goodwill, of course. Let's go see what we can find. Hello. Thank you, ma'am. What is going on, you guys? I actually just left the golf course. I'm on the way to our PO box. We should have a good amount of packages there waiting for us. We haven't checked it in a while. Quick shout out to this building right there, the one that says Siebel's on it. Uh, that is the building that housed the job that I worked at before I was abruptly laid off and forced to become a full-time YouTuber and reseller. So crazy, crazy world, crazy how life can change. Um, after we go to the post office, I'm gonna head to the Salvation Army that's over on this side of town. We also haven't been there in like a month or so. So hopefully we can find some good stuff. Right, let's see. There's a bunch of good stuff in here. Oh, we got two. Dude, there was so much they gave us two keys they couldn't fit it all in one locker all right so we've got locker number four and locker number 18 18 is right here now let's go see what's in locker four. Oh my gosh should have brought another ikea back Yeah, it's everything. Pulled up to the local Salvation Army family store. Haley has been thrifting today. I'm sure you guys know that because all of her footage was probably before this, but I don't currently know what she's found or if she's found any cool stuff, but hopefully I can find some good stuff today as well. It's here. Oh, golly, there. There's literally almost a hole in the bottom of them. 
Air Force One high tops. Dang. I do have these Georgia boots up here though. These are, I'm pretty sure these are the exact same ones that I have. A little bit of wear. They're only $5.99. Just a little bit of uh, Doc Martens Wonder Balm. Wonder Balsam? Basalm? Balm? 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 Kind of a pair of Allen Edmonds right here, but they have a huge rip in the uppers. This pair of foot joys are in pretty good condition, but I don't know. They're $5.99. I just really haven't had luck selling these like more boring looking ones. Got this really super weird pair of Merrill hiking shoes. Really good condition, but as you can see, they're like a, I, don't, I don't know for somebody that maybe has like one foot longer than the other definitely interesting don't think there's a market for those but i will grab this pair of asics weldon x these are only 6.99 really good shape scoop got this pair of men's colhan loafers up here they're like the horse bit dark brown i think they're pretty good i really haven't had a lot of luck selling colhans lately but we may try to get these listed on like Poshmark or Mercari or something in addition to eBay and get these sold. They're only $6.99. They're in good shape. Minimal cleaning. I think these would be a scoop. I found this really cool um, USA Olympic thing. Coleman water jug. It is vintage, I guess. This says made in USA. Specifically Wichita, Kansas. Do not put in the dishwasher. It's only $2.89. Uh, I think I think it's in pretty good shape. Uh, anytime you buy stuff like this, you want to make sure you open it and make sure the inside isn't super gross. I've already done that, and this is, looks looks great on the inside. Um, I think it'll be worth it. I mean, it's kind of heavy, not heavy to ship, but big to ship. Um, but for less than three bucks, we'll grab it. I got this Gold's Gym Hawaii T-shirt. It's Gold's Gym on the Gold's Gym tag. Size extra large, made in USA. Looks pretty pretty good condition. Single stitch on the sleeve. There is one little tiny hole like right there, but otherwise good condition this should be like a dollar or dollar fifty or something so i'll definitely go ahead and grab it so we paid a total of 27 dollars for everything in that store today and i think we should be able to get most of that money back just on the pair of georgia boots um i don't know how much this shirt is worth maybe like 20 25 bucks or so i'm super excited about this it's a sudski shower drink holder paid a dollar 99 for it maybe personal use nice little uh enjoy a coke zero while you take a shower if we don't use it for personal use if Haley doesn't let me install it in our shower uh this should sell pretty well online for us for 10 or 15 bucks or so asics should go for about 20 to 30 this cole hans about 20 to 30 as well so 27 bucks into oh and this thing i don't know what this is worth maybe 20 bucks plus shipping so 27 into what like 100 i think that's a pretty good deal so i just got home but Haley is not home yet so she must be having some pretty good luck at the thrift store let's see what moe's is up to hey moe's look at you you're laying right there hey look, <laughs> look at that tail love you so much Hello? I, I just got home. Me and Moe's are just like hanging out and you're not here. Are you still thrifting? No, I went to the grocery store. Oh, you went to the grocery store. I really appreciate that. Moe's appreciates it too. Moe's, do you need anything from the grocery store? Oh, uh, okay, okay. So Haley just got home from her thrifting trip today. I'm gonna go to the car and see what all she got. She's already told me a couple things she picked up, uh, but I just wanna get a good look for myself here. There's some extra junk back here. It's not all the stuff that I got today. <laughs> I'm sure everybody watching has extra junk in their car. <laughs> I don't think we have anything to worry about. Okay, so this is the one Peter Millar shirt I was telling you about. 100% cotton made in Turkey. Peter Millar, yes, yeah, so I'm definitely an old tag. Nice button down. Yeah. These are the hats that I got, just a simple like Nike blue hat. Okay size large size seven. Oh, size seven it's a whole or a seven he's a women's maybe i don't know either women's or kids but that was what 50 cents this is a kids air jordan hat oh, wow that's cool and it's in black and red colorway which is nice yeah youth um yeah just as youth okay and then wow is it costa yeah costa, costa. that's awesome costa hat that's in great condition too. yeah a little bit of standing here but that's like a probably 20 25 hat plus shipping yeah that's really nice. So in the bins, I just found a bunch of plushes. Okay. I'm telling you, like every single bin had plushes in it. I found this Build-A-Bear. It's a little gross, needs some washing. We can just throw the whole bag in the washing machine. Husky? But, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Huge min Mickeys, also yeah. kind of gross. I used to try to clean plush by hand like a year ago, and it's not worth it. Just throw it in the washing machine, it'll be fun. What is that? This is like Navy? a Navy shirt. Oh, U.S. Okay, authentic. Authentic original. by Sophie, but it's made in USA. It's a hmm. little stained, but I'm hoping I can get the stains out. What did you spend at the bins? Eight dollars. I think I okay. rounded up, so eight dollars. And then this is the. Oh yeah. Garth Brooks. Check this out. Concert Garth, tee. Garth Brooks concert T-shirt. Haynes, made, made in, in USA. USA. There's no date though. Is there? I don't think so. No. 
man it's got to be it's not it's made in the usa but it's double stitched so i would say like early 2000s and garth brooks is really I, this is probably at least a 20 to 25 dollar shirt for sure really yeah at That's least awesome. i mean it's got a nice graphic on the, on the front yeah i really wish it had a date but oh no there's no date like down mm -hmm. here or anything wait Oh, there 1998. Is really? Yep. Oh, yeah. 1998. Look at there. I've never seen a shirt that old be double stitch. That's wild. Yeah. That's really okay. Maybe this is like a $40 shirt now. I don't know. Maybe more. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I got the bins. Okay. This was the other Goodwill. I got two bags here. We didn't find any shoes today. Everything was super picked over. I found another Costa hat. Whew. Back in high school, I used to put this was like the thing to put the fishing hook on mm -hmm. your <laughs> on your hat. Man, it's been a while since I've seen that. It's got a Chevrolet hat. Wow, that's really cool. It's made in China, but One still really cool. Open road. This is a Chevrolet. It's an interesting logo. I got another Nike hat. Okay. Nike's always Simple. solid, easy. 12, 15 bucks or so. Avengers kid size. Let's but... see. Let's see if it'll. Uh, fits fits my dome, kinda. No, it doesn't. It, it's then I got a couple of clothing items at the one store. It's an untuck it. Oh yeah, it's nice. Four seventy five for that. That's an easy twenty twenty five bucks or so. Those used to be really really good, and they've kind of dropped off in value a good bit. Nike golf shirt. Simple. Nike golf. Yeah, those are always good sellers. Usually the bigger the better. If you can get like a two X or three X Nike golf shirt, those things will sell super fast. Um, I bought this just because um, I had to buy it. You had to buy it, okay. Look, Look there cute. are table of elements. <laughs> Haley's always been into science. One time at Goodwill I found a coffee table book of the periodic table of elements and I bought it for Haley because she likes stuff like that and you've never read it. It's been no. sitting under our coffee table for like two years now. You should probably just sell it on eBay. Polo Ralph Lauren. Wow. Looks big too. 2X, 3X, 3XLT. Yeah. A state, a state rib. rib. That's nice. So that was probably that was at a regular Goodwill. Mm -hmm. So it was probably five seventy five, and you could pr I, we could probably get like forty bucks for that. Hmm. About thirty five to forty bucks plus yeah. shipping. This is probably the best find of the day. Found this Toshiba Ugh. VHS and DVD recorder with the remote. Perfect. Um, paid nine ninety four. That is such a good find. I haven't even looked it up yet. I know it's gonna be good because it says recording. Anytime you have. Uh, there's there's combo players that just play like they'll record on vhs but they won't record on dvd but anytime you have a record on both sides um that's generally a really good sign i did see a comp for 90 plus shipping and i think the remote itself just the remote sold for like 20 bucks free yeah, shipping i'm sure so that's awesome good job so you guys remember we just went to the post office or i did and got all this stuff and we figured we'd go ahead and open it in today's video it's a podka something milk i don't know let's open it up and see what it is i would like to add that this says mr and mrs harry tornado on it mr and mrs thanks for the great videos i've been doing retail arbitrage for a while so i love watching you find things and turning them in for a profit have a great day jeff what did jeff send us oh these are cool they're like spoon rests right right i don't know they're made in the usa that's really cool. You, wait, that's wait, mine. Do, do I get that's the pink mine. one? That's <laughs> Is this a, it's either a spoon rest or a shoe horn? What you, <laughs> or a spoon? I don't know. It looks like a spoon rest to me. I don't know. Either way, Jeff, thanks so much. Very cool. Yeah. Next up, this is from D-E-E, -E, uh, from Gulfport, Gulfport, Mississippi. Wait, are we going to trade off? I want to open some. Okay, you can open. Josh Naley, hope these will help better, will help better than the wrench. Thanks for the... <laughs> Have a great she, day. She's, it's uh, from D Moore, and she's referencing when I used to open packages with a wrench. Because oh. that's the first thing I grabbed out of my desk. <laughs> <laughs> and it sucked. How cool. Oh, wow. Knives. Which, Which one? one? <laughs> <laughs> I want the red one. Okay. Sick. Look at that. D, thank you so much. Yes, thank we'll you. We'll definitely put these to good use. I'll, I'll do it right now. i got to open this one. Yeah. Okay. Always cut away from me. This is from... Elio Mora. Elio likes to use a lot of tape. That guy on a pen and a bottle opener for perfect sense. And this thing. I can't believe you used to open things with a wrench. Yeah, it didn't work very well. Ah! Hey, just to say thank you for your content you provide to me. It helps me a lot with my wife's new eBay business. Here's a fragrance I think you might like, might like rockin'. Say hi to your wife. I'll get something for her next time. Your follower, Elio. Elio, thank you so much. Invictus. Mm, it says intense. How does this thing work? It's a, oh. I didn't smell it. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, it smells pretty that good. It smells really good. Yeah. Oh, I got too much. 
<laughs> it is. It is a little. Maybe maybe one spray. Maybe one spray was good. Uh, Elio. Well, I just shoved my whole hand. Yeah. <laughs> now I smell it. <laughs> it smells good though. It's just a little yes. strong. Elio, thank you so much for that. Definitely appreciate it. Now I'll have something to wear on our next date. That'd be fun. I'm really glad we opened the knobs first. Yeah. Here we go. This is. Oh, cool. Good tires. 1993. Oh wow. It says. Hey Josh, love the new video edits. Your ending makes me feel so good. Anyway, I thought of you when I saw these at the thrift. Pretty sure it was for Clemson Tiger fans. There's one for you and Haley. Feel free to flip them if you want. If you can, I would like a shot on my Instagram, Lost Foundry. Much love and happy for your success. James Jung. James. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. It's like, uh, what are these magnets? Car magnets or something? Yeah. Yeah, fan appeal, car, vintage car magnets. But you could put it on a desk or a refrigerator or a locker. Yeah. These are from 1993. These are awesome, man. Thank you so much. This one says, this one also says Harry Tornado, but you can open it. Okay. Feels like Christmas. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling. I'm jabbing right now. Can with wicks. Can Interesting. With wicks. Lavender and citronella. Yeah, it's a candle oh. inside of a can. Yeah. Thank you so much. Who was that from again? It was from Jonathan from Winnet Winnetica. Winnetica, California. Jonathan, thank you so much. I'm sure you're pronouncing that I'm wrong. I'm sure. You're cutting towards yourself again. I can't help it. All right, oh, look at this. Okay, read that. Okay. Hey, just wanted to send you something. Thank you for just being you, Stephen Martin. Stephen Martin. I think Stephen Martin's real name is the Bearded Fonz, I think. Huh. Oh, hey, I've seen this before. I break for bin stores, flea markets, thrift stores, yard sales, weird stuff left on curbs. That is, that is true. true. We do that. I appreciate the hat. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, my head is an anomaly. <laughs> so if you ever want to send hats, make sure you get like the largest size available. <laughs> because <laughs> other, I mean, it'll it'll fit. It's just yeah. not going to look good. You, you wear the hat. It'll look better on you. Well, I got my hair. And then I'll put the shirt on. <sighs> nice. <I should> probably... <laughs> nice. Okay, next, what is this? Oh, this is an eBay return. He did a great job describing the shoes, which are in good shape. I'm not having a hard time getting, I'm just having a hard time getting shoes to fit my 93 year old mother. Thanks for trying, Sue. Sue is so nice, yeah, I, I don't really mind nice. that at all. She sent him back, some Brooks. Shout out freaking Sue. She's just trying to find some shoes for her elderly mother. Nothing wrong with that. What is this? This is from, what is this? Who? it's media mail. <laughs> What's up to Mr. and Mrs. Harry Tornado? Wait, you gotta read that. <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> Love the channel and content. I'm always on YouTube watching something, but your channel is one of the very few I constantly watch. It was like watching my own adventures. I find myself talking loudly to the screen, like, look on the bottom shelf, grab that. I'm also a reseller and have been for years. Did I just do that? The printer just turned on. Shut up, printer. Now is not the time. <laughs> Thanks again for what you guys do. Please keep doing it. Let's go. Let's go, Brian. Brian. From Fredericksburg, Virginia. The ultimate sneaker book. How cool. We definitely need that. Brian. That's so thanks, cool. Thanks, man. Got some uh, Jordan 1 1985s right there. I know those. This is awesome. Yeah. Now we can do some research. Yeah. I just need to read this next before we go to the flea market again. Exactly. I appreciate it. Josh Fornell, Harry Tornado LLC, P.O. Box. This is from Flip the World. Flip the World? What did Flip the World send us? Where's your hat? It's a pop. Funko pop. Funko pop. Oh wow, it's Ryan. It's Ryan from the office. That's awesome. You got, look, I collect office pops. These are all the ones I have. I got Daryl and Creed and Prison Mike and a bunch of Dwights. I don't have Ryan though. Congrats, Congrats on, on 200K. 200K. Chris and Stacy. Awesome. Shout and out little, Flip the World. Shout out Flip the World. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put it so on the shelf. I'm gonna need some more shelves. I'll just put it right over. Put it right on top of Toby since he's the least important. All right. Look at this padded flat right envelope inside of a big box. That's interesting. Tolus 5 2. This is a big conglomerate of stuff. Let's see what that says. Okay. Thank you for sharing your experiences with us through YouTube. eBay was a bit too complicated for my minimally savvy self. Hope these can give you a few extra dollars. I'll stick to Poshmark. Best wishes. And then Talisay52, something Talis like that. Talisay52, Talisay52. Talis 52. Uh, thank you so much. So we got a, a TI-BA2 Plus calculator. Those sell for about 15 bucks or so. 
Uh, they generally move pretty quickly depending on the time of year. We got a Verizon wireless uh, exclusive like headset. headset? I don't know wow. about that. Original price twenty nine ninety nine. That's pretty good. And then we got yeah. a Num Noms. Is this walkie talkies? Yeah, walkie talkies. These freaking cool. walkie talkies. These might be Perfect per Christmas personal gift. use. Okay, and the last one. Mo's tornado. Love it. Mo should open it. Hey, can you can you open this for us? What is it? You can get in the card this time. Okay. From Deb in New York City. Great thrifting here, but we pay up and no bins. That sounds awful. <gasps> this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Moe's, you have a shirt to wear! <laughs> yeah! And it says, Josh Haley Moe's just wanted to send a fun gift for all the knowledge and advice you have shared. I'm so happy they were making fun employment for you both. My hubby is retiring soon, and I'm trying to get him to help me resell. I'm a teacher, so I do part-time during the year. No bins, I don't drive. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Please take this gift as a look forward to the future. I remember way back when you told us you had a special announcement. We all thought Miss Tornado was expecting, lol. We're not gonna have a baby anytime soon, but I definitely appreciate you sending. But we'll the, be keeping this in case we have we'll one in the future. We'll be keeping that just just in case. Maybe it's not for <laughs> Mose. No, it's not for <laughs> Mose, Josh. This is a kid's shirt. Can Mose just wear it like in the in the meantime? <laughs> Thank you so much. We love it. Mose loves it. You guys are awesome. And that is going to do it for today's video, you guys. If you enjoyed any aspect of it at all, all we ask is that you take a couple seconds and hit that like button for us down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best. And we'll catch you on the next one.